Hello everyone, welcome to the first video so, uh, of 2024 UGB solution. So, uh, in this video we are going to solve uh, the first problem that came in BMATH BSTAT 2024 which was held uh, yesterday, uh, 12th May and uh, currently it's now 13th May, 12th, uh, 43 AM. Uh, anyways, uh, the, the limit, uh, so well, let's talk about the first problem. So, find with proof all possible values of t such that this limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 2 by 2 to the power 1 third then plus 3 to the power 1 third and so on till n to the power 1 third this sum divided by n to the power t is equal to c okay for some real number c greater than 0 and uh, also find the corresponding values of c so now whatever is given here so uh, you can treat it as a sequence because once you take a t it gets fixed okay so this is as a like a sequence okay and uh, so basically they are saying that this sequence uh, is like uh, converging okay so when will this sequence converge for so basically they are saying that for what values of t will this sequence converge to a positive real number okay c is greater than 0 and uh, for uh, and also you have to state those uh, positive real numbers where this sequence can converge so uh, my idea is to bound the sequence from both the sides and get my conclusion. So, uh, without wasting time, let's get started. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, problem one. So, uh, the, it's uh, uh, yes. Uh, now, try to understand that for in a sequence. So, the denominator is n to the power t. Once t is fixed. So the denominator is you nothing have to do with the denominator it's just n to the power t n will increase right so all you have to work with the numerator so what's the numerator the numerator is summation k going from 1 to n k to the power 1 third right so that's the numerator now uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll make this like k going from 1 to n okay and i'll integrate it from k minus 1 to k uh, k to the power one third dx okay so now k is being treated as a constant so it will go out and finally the whole of the sum remains the same so these two are the same no change okay just i, I wrote it in uh, this i took this integration and nothing else so but now try to understand that now if i replace here so summation k going from one to n now if i replace that value of uh, k in that integration by x k minus 1 to k x to the power 1 third dx now try to understand that k was taking k is the maximum value of x so that means this in uh, the left hand side will be greater than equals to the right hand side okay and now if we further break the uh, left hand side uh, sorry uh, the right hand most side so that will be breaking down to the uh, like just let the k run from 1 to n so what do you get you basically like uh, get the sum to be 0 to n okay and uh, so 0 to n and uh, we are basically going from x to the power 1 third dx okay and that will come out to be almost uh, uh, like uh, that yeah so uh, 3 by 4 and n to the power uh, so 3 by 4 n to the power 4 by 3 so this is what it will come out okay so we got um, uh, uh, we got we we got a uh, lower bound for this uh, for the for the numerator of the sequence and thus we got a lower bound for that sequence as well so now let's uh, try to work on uh, the upper bound okay so again the same sum summation k going from 1 to uh, n k to the power 1 third and that sum I can write it as summation k going from 1 to n now I'll run the sum from k so previously I wrote uh, I ran the sum from k minus 1 to k so I'll now I'll run it from k to k plus 1 uh, k to the power 1 third dx and again now if I replace here the summation is there k fr going from 1 to n so uh, <coughs> k k plus 1 so again if i replace this k by uh, x so what will happen so x to the power 1 third dx now try to understand that uh, x uh, so the minimum value of x is k so that means this will be like the right hand side now will be bigger 
and uh, now if i run k from 1 to n so this will be basically uh, 1 to n plus 1 x to the power 1 third dx and which is basically like coming out to be uh, that is uh, 3 by 4 n plus 1 uh, whole to the power 4 by 3 minus 1 and now this minus sign uh, minus 1 will be a little bit troublesome when you uh, try uh, like uh, try to work with it so let's get rid of it be uh, be we can easily write this this is uh, strictly less than 3 by 4 n plus 1 whole to the power 4 by 3 okay so now we got an upper bound as well so now let's go one by one okay so now uh, <coughs> let's let's mark that sequence as x n t so so this this thing let's mark it as x n t okay so it's a sequence uh, and uh, it depends on t so that's why x n t so usually how do we define sequences like uh, with x n right so uh, since here we have uh, t uh, a kind of uh, dependencies on t so that's why we are including that and writing this no uh, as a notation okay and nothing else so uh, coming down to the thing that is uh, again so uh, what is the uh, bound coming out so then we are getting that uh, x and t so x n t is greater than equals to uh, so the lower bound is coming out of 3 to the power 4 now the numerator remember it's n to the power t which we have to divide so it's n to the power 4 by 3 minus t in the power okay and this is less than equals to 3 by 4 uh, that was n plus 1 whole to the power uh, 4 by 3 so n plus 1 whole to the power 4 by 3 divided by n to the power t so now uh, let's take case wise okay so case 1 if n is uh, sorry not n we have to work on t so if t is greater than 4 by 3 now why all of a sudden we are taking greater than 4 by t you can very well understand it's in the power 4 by 3 minus t and so on so now uh, try to understand if uh, n uh, if if t is greater than 4 by 3 so then what do we see uh, for the right hand side look at this part so if t is greater than 4 by 3 so what i'll do is from the denominator i just take away n to the power 4 by 3 and then n to the power something will be there positive okay it uh, i mean positive real and that n to the power uh, 4 uh, it's 4 by 3 so that n to the power 4 by 3 I'll take it inside 1 uh, n plus 1 whole to the power 4 by 3 so that will become 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power 4 by 3 okay and now in the denominator I have something n to the power some uh, positive real okay so now try to think that as n tends to infinity the numerator goes to 1 right it's because 1 plus 1 by n and uh, the denominator the denominator becomes as, uh, as large as possible and thus this goes to zero so that means uh, so this goes to zero as n tends to infinity for our first case okay so that means now what we can say is that now for this uh, if uh, t is greater than 4 it doesn't work for us because we have to look for uh, like uh, look, we have to look for uh, uh, this sequence if it converges somewhere we have to look for uh, something where it uh, pos some positive reals where it converges okay so uh, even if it converges as well so it can converge to zero but not more than zero okay so that's why c cannot be positive in this case anyways uh, coming down to so that's why this case is done okay now let's go back and let's take case two so case 2 is if t is less than uh, 4 by 3 okay so then what if t is less than 4 by 3 so then what uh, what is the problem so then we will look at this the left hand side so the left hand side you see that t is less than 4 by 3 
so n to the power 4 by 3 minus something which is less than 4 by 3 so that makes it like n to the power some positive real and this will go towards infinity so the lhs will go towards infinity as n tends to infinity and thus i mean it uh, i mean it doesn't uh, it shows that like uh, our sequence can be as large as possible so uh, then we get that like it doesn't convert okay so that's why this case also doesn't work so that means only one value of t remains if it doesn't work it doesn't work or it works uh, then we have to see so and the last case case 3 if t is equal to 4 by 3 so if it's equal to 4 by 3 then look at let's look at the left hand side first so it becomes basically 3 by 4 because this n to the power 0 becomes 1 so this is basically then 3 by 4 the left hand side and uh, the right hand side is basically so I'm, I'm, I'm only talking about the case 3 so the right hand side uh, it's basically like if you are plugging in uh, 4 by 3 so it goes inside like n to the power t below it goes inside so it's basically becomes uh, 3 by 4 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power 4 by 3 okay and thus you see that basically like uh, this also goes to 3 by 4 so goes to 3 by 4 as n tends to infinity okay and thus in this case we see that like our sequence converges and uh, so the only value of t that works so answer is that is t is uh, the only t that works is 4 by 3 and c is uh, 3 by 4 i think yeah so 3 by 4 okay so i hope you have uh, enjoyed the solution so i'm solving one by one and i'm uh, trying to post them uh, <coughs> by tonight so uh, have patience and uh, i hope you like the solution if so then please do like it and please do share it among the other students uh, who also wants to have the solution uh, as they have already given the exam so yeah uh, so that's it for this video if you have any doubts anywhere or you didn't understand please do comment below i'll try my best to explain you uh, uh, i mean uh, in the comment section and uh, yeah so uh, see you in the next one thanks for watching